Well, good evening, folks. Welcome to another episode of Hey Big Girl. And now tonight, we're going to make a Mexican beef and rice casserole. It's very similar to a dish we've made in the past, but we're going to try it a little different this time. So let's get started. Now in a pot, now I went with a pot because I wasn't sure how deep we're going to need, but we're going to add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Then we're going to add half of an onion diced up. Next, we're going to add one diced bell pepper. All right, so now that we've got these ingredients in here, we're going to turn our burner to a medium heat. We're just going to kind of stir these around. And we're going to cook these until the onion and the bell pepper start to cook down and soften up. All right, so now that our bell pepper and our onion is softened up, we're going to add two teaspoons worth of minced garlic. Now, you're going to want to stir this pretty frequently to prevent the garlic from burning, so about a minute. All right, now we're going to add a pound of ground beef. We're going to cook this on the medium heat. Continue cooking it on medium heat, rather. We're just going to start breaking this up. And you want to brown your ground beef. All right, so our ground beef is cooked. I drained the excess grease, but now what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle. I've got three tablespoons worth of taco seasoning, but I'm not going to dump it all in there at once. I'm going to Sprinkle a little bit of it in, stir the contents together. And I'm gonna sprinkle me a little bit more. We're gonna do the same, repeat that process until this is all stirred in and all three tablespoons worth of taco seasoning is in the pot. Now we're gonna add one can of drained corn, one can of drained black beans, one and a half cups of salsa, salsa of your choice, two tablespoons of tomato paste. And lastly, I'm gonna add in one can of Rotel. Now it called for a four ounce can of green chilies, but I decided to go with one re regular size can of Rotel instead. You wanna stir them until all these ingredients are evenly dispersed throughout the, the pot here. All right, now that we've got everything stirred in, we're gonna add one cup of uncooked long grain white rice, followed by two cups of beef broth. Then we're gonna cover the lid, or cover it with the lid. And we're gonna, now we're gonna bring this to a boil. Once it gets to a boil, covered, then we're gonna reduce the heat to a low and let it simmer for about 18 minutes. All right, so we just went about 18 minutes. So now we're gonna take Fiesta blended cheese. And we're just gonna sprinkle this all over the top. We still got our heat on to a low simmer, or to a simmer rather. We're gonna just start sprinkling this cheese all along the top of this. All right, so now we've got it covered with our cheese. We're gonna put the lid back on it for about another three to five minutes to let that cheese melt. All righty, folks, we just hit that timer. Look at that cheese nice and melted. A little bit of liquid seeping up through the top of it. Y'all know what's next. All right, folks, here we go with that all important taste test. Oh, that was good, folks. A lot of flavor, definitely, from the cheeses, the, the rice, the corn, the black beans, everything we put in there, all in this one pot. Another beautiful one pot meal, folks. Less than 40 minutes, very good, very easy. And like I said, it's very similar to that, uh, a dish we made a few weeks back, not realizing it was almost the same thing recipe I found. The main difference is that one we made a few weeks back, we used the packaged Spanish rice. Very good. This time we used the white rice. Again, very good. So if you got a couple extra minutes to spare, this is a good, good alternative right here. Uh, very good. And like I said, the whatever you want to add to it, the options are limitless with this. So y'all please let me know what you think of the video. Y'all please like, subscribe. And we'll see y'all later.